now that we've made a mask, why don't I refresh your memories on how to use a mask? So once you've made a mask, so I'm going to select the brighter parts of the galaxy and some of these out other outlying galaxies. I'm going to protect all the background and the really dim stuff here. So there's a few different ways you can put a mask on, but by far the easiest, here, let's get rid of that. By far the easiest is to drag the view identifier tab. That's this little tab that every image has. Drag the view identifier tab onto the sidebar of the image that you want to cover. You want a mask. And then release. And now that image is masked. Another way to operate with masks is by right clicking on the image, you get access to a mask context menu. So I'll remove the mask again. But if I right click on this image and go to mask, I can select any mask, any image with the same geometry. And this is the one we just made. I can also decide whether to invert that mask if I put it on by this method. So I can uninvert or I can invert. Uninvert. The other thing you can do in the mask menu is you can uh, enable or disable a mask. By default, it's enabled. You can hide the mask. So how do you know that it's still there? Well, look at the view identifier tab. You notice that it's brown. That's telling you that it's still there. And you can use that mask menu to unhide it. Or here's a mask menu in your top toolbar. Select, remove, invert, enable, hide or show. 